Alright, so this section will be going over working with templates in Word for iPad and iPhone. So you can see here that um, when you first get into Word, there's a bunch of templates that they give you. You can do research papers, flyers, um, a bunch of different styles that they have pre-made for you. But we're going to go ahead and click on the brochure one. So once you tap on that, it's going to create the file and pull it from the internet. Once you see the brochure get pulled up, we can begin to work on the different blocks that it has. So the first one we're going to work with is the title. Uh, you can get rid of that once the keyboard pops up. Uh, click the backspace button on there just by tapping on it. And we're going to go ahead and name this the best TV shows of 2017. Um, and after we're done typing that, we're going to get into replacing these pictures that's next to it to something that's a little more fitting. So working with pictures, if you tap on them, you will see a little black box that pops up and then we're going to go ahead and click replace on, on that box and that will bring up your photo album. So you tap and then you can see this box will come up and then click replace. Now your photo albums and then you can go into your photos and we're going to select this Rick and Morty one first um, and then we can go down and do the rest with these other two here. So we click on it, replace, and we're gonna go to all photos and then change that to master and none. And the last one, same thing again, click replace, and then we're gonna go all photos, Game of Thrones. This last thing we're gonna work on is working with the subtitle down here. You can also change the body text. All you have to do is simply click on it and it'll highlight the whole title. Let me scroll up for you. Um, we're gonna name this, there can only be one because there can only be one great TV show 2017. So once you change that, it's pretty basic. It works like Word Desktop, um, just type in on, just type in normally. Um, so from there, we can go ahead and give this document a name. So you click the little paper with three dots there and then the name button. And this is going to save it for you. So you can select the document too, which is what it's currently being called. And we'll call this one TV shows and then you can save it to the destination you would like to have it at. So that's basically it for working with templates. Uh, all right, we're on to the next one.